Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection. And I was tagged by Jay from Little Kong Gaming to talk about game franchises that need to come back. Now, I met Jay earlier this year via him contacting me, asking me to do a podcast. We've done a couple of podcasts now. A really nice guy from the UK who actually specializes is in, in all these amazing uh, podcasts that he does with YouTubers from around the world, especially with the way this year has been. It's a great opportunity for the gaming community to come together in this way. And I'm thinking, I love this challenge. This is really cool because there is a lot of franchises that I believe really need to come back. And I went through this collection. You just don't realize when you start looking at your games, just, oh man, that one needs to come back or that one, that one. And there was so many and it just was like insane how many franchises that I could talk about right now. I'll do one video. I may even do another video at another date because there are so many things there behind me that really need to come back. So I've got six franchises I'm going to talk about now. The first one may be a bit controversial because, well, GTA 5. Why am I saying this franchise needs to come back? Believe it or not, GTA 5 was released, I think, on the 17th of September 2013. That's seven years ago. We had it on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and now you can download it on the next-gen systems. Look, I know Rockstar Games has been doing a lot of online stuff with this, and it's just been seven years since we've seen a new single-player GTA game. If you cast your mind back to the PlayStation 2 era, we had San Andreas, we had um, GTA 3, and also we had Vice City. And on the PlayStation Vita, we had Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories, which did make its way to PlayStation 2. So there's five games on the PlayStation 2. On the PlayStation 3, we've got two games, and this seems to be... Yeah, okay, three games, I guess you could say, including this one. But I think this is a series that needs to come back. And I think Rockstar Games need to sort of realize that it's about time you stop milking that cow and bring on a brand new GTA 6 game, which I'm hoping they're going to be working on. And I really hope it's not going to be online only because I don't want to go down the same path as uh, Fallout 76. But I love this series so much. It's so cool. I've never finished any GTA games, but it doesn't matter. It's just going into that world, exploring, doing whatever you want in there, which was what's the whole fun about playing a sandbox game like this. But seven years, it is about time we see this franchise return with a new game in the series. I really, really hope that over the next 12 months or so, we will hear news of a GTA 6. Please, I want to see that happen. Now, the next one. This, I was thinking, man, should I do this or not? But I, I am. And it's Star Wars, The Force Unleashed. One and two. We got two games in the series. I haven't finished the second one, so I don't know what happens to the main character. But out of all the Star Wars games, the, the, these are the ones I really enjoyed. Um, we had you know, it's new games that come out, but it just, just doesn't feel the same anymore. Um, is it the EA curse or not? I'm not too sure. But I thought these were great games, and I thought that they could continue the series on. The whole Force Unleashed series was great. <sighs> Why can't they do that? Why can't they bring out bring out a fortune at least three? There's there's there's, there's, there's got to be a story they can flush out for that. As I said, I'm not too sure what happens to your main character at the end of two. Don't tell me, um, but I'm sure there's a way they could um, do something, do something with this series, bring it back because I thought it was great, short but sweet, Unreal Games. Now, when I was looking through this whole list, um, Capcom announced. A new Ghost, Ghouls and Ghosts or Ghosts and Goblins game on the Switch remastered, but that's not what I'm showing here. It is actually the Maximo games. Both of these games exclusive to the PlayStation 2, uh, Army of Zen, and just Maximo. You know, this is Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghosts and Goblins in the 3D world. And why this series ended with Army of Zen, I don't know, but I think. It would be so cool if Capcom did bring back this series. 
yeah bring back the ghouls and ghosts game but also give us even remaster put these two games together in a remaster but i would love to see this franchise come back because i thought it was probably two of the best um action platforming games on the playstation 2 and the graphics look so amazing for that system and just was great it was and it's a lot easier than the uh, the girls and Go the girls and ghosts games that's for sure now a series that sort of abruptly ended i don't know why this was i thought it was really popular and it's the um legacy of khan series um i got into it with soul reaver not soul reaver 2 um i think it was on the playstation original playstation i played soul reaver then it got released on the Dreamcast where it just looks so amazing on a Dreamcast and we had uh, Legacy of Khan, Defiance which were great games as well but this is a series that went away it just disappeared and I still don't know why but I thought this franchise needs to come back in some shape or form the character Raziel was brilliant um, just love the design of the character uh, the storytelling in these games were really cool and I really feel like I need to go back and play these games because they're so amazing they were and I'm still trying to hunt down uh, Legacy of Khan Soul Reaver on the Dreamcast and I missed out on one for $36 the other week and I'm like oh man I sh just the way it was but I'm, I'm, I'm on the hunt for that one that's for sure now another series that I really thought I would not get into and I told myself this was ridiculous but what happened a couple of games in and I got into this series heavily and it's the Skylanders series believe it or not this is a great series that is platforming these two ones you couldn't actually jump in these games I uh, just bounce onto different trampolines or things to, to go to higher levels or you know where you need to go it wasn't until later on you could jump in in the game which was you know, strange but I thought these were really great games they probably did wear out their welcome over the years there was a lot of games in this series that released but I think maybe with all the toys to life stuff I think parents and kids were probably getting a bit sick of every year these games are coming out and there's spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on new um figurines to play these games i think if they sort of let you keep those figurines and just made the games with different you know different levels different stories it may be still around now but i think this is a series that um could come back i'm hoping it would because for that generation of gaming it some of my favorite uh, platforming gaming is the skylander series because everything else was more gritty more realistic I mean, this is just pure fun and fantasy and it's got Spyro in it as well which is really really cool love this series now to finish this off another series that I really loved and it sort of disappeared and um, I think this involved into the Assassin's Creed games uh, when you look at it and it is the Prince of Persia series look I know we're getting a remaster of the um, Sands of Time and all that sort of stuff but these games both of these games were amazing and this is a franchise I love so much to see get a brand new game not a remaster or anything like that but a brand new game now when you look at these games side by side they're so different the art style and Prince of Persia is cell shaded graphics and I do remember going back to when I first saw the trailer to this game at the E3 10 11 years ago whenever it was I was blown away with the graphics in this game it was just so beautiful to see cell shaded graphics unreal um I, I just love this game and the way you use your your um alica your your support character in this game was really cool as well and it adds another level of uh um gameplay i guess you could say to this game it was really cool then we got this one the uh, forgotten sands which is another great game totally different from this one which was a great way to move I think in this series and I gotta say I ab absolutely love the uh, Prince of Persia movie um, I'm, I'm, I hear a lot of people didn't like it but I thought it was a great movie and it, it, it bombed at the box office which was a shame but maybe that was part two why this series sort of dwindled away but I do look at this being the evolution into the Assassin Creed games but that's pretty much it that's that's six series one two three four five six six series that i think need to come back 
in some shape or form. Skylanders, Star Wars, The Force Unleashed, The Prince of Persia, a new GTA game. Seven years. Seven years is too long. Three generations of gaming GTA 5 is going to be on. and I don't want online stuff. I don't like that stuff. Soul Reaver and Maximo. There you go. There's um, six franchises and I, I can do more. And I will do more. So I'm going to challenge five people. I'm going to challenge Tim from Rage Lag Gaming, Greg, Graffling with Games, and remember that, uh, Antoine from Lightsaber Samurai, great channel, check him out, I'll leave a link down below, and also um, Dylan from Hyper Trigger DX. I'll, I'll just do, is that four or five? I'll just do you guys, I, um, challenge you guys to, to do a response video to this one. What franchises would you want to see come back? As I said, I can go through this list of games behind me and I'm just blown away with what great franchises have sort of just disappeared, which is sad, it really is. So that's the ones I want to see come back. Let me know what series you want to see come back because, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff out there that we need back, I think. Until next time, guys. Bye.